Hi. <laughs> my name is Martha Modena Patrice Duty. The title of my poem is Under the Full Crust Moon. Sky cracks over the train yard, edging I-55. Clouds the sycamore where the red-tailed hawk perches, trusting the storm to blow the pigeon to his talons. Another burst like a windshield showered in a flail of gravel, slowing trucks in the wrong lane. Rush our traffic you try to avoid, driving too fast. A coyote darts between stacked boxcars, heading west or east, his gray coat blending into dawn. These days when sunlight thaws, but moonlight freezes, the swollen trail along Salt Creek where he would hunt, and I turn up the news we listen to behind a red sea of brake lights, the radio box in static. A half mile from Navy Pier, an ice floe shudders under nimble legs of a coyote whose desperate hunger lures him to desperate places, smells the shoreline he can find, belly full, heavy lids of yellow eyes tempting sleep, knows ice can bear his weight alone, not firemen who trail him, not the suck of air from a police helicopter as it hovers over his island when the brake gives way. He would have it this way. Divers held back by the snap underfoot, shards of ice like melting arrowheads. At first, fright, then surrender to what comes next. 10 minutes of climbing waves of slush too deep to walk. Too cold to swim, he drifts beyond the pier, beyond the buoys, sinks where no one can see to save him. As the world fractures, I tell you, we pick up speed. You give the radio its final word, then turn it off. Maybe just talk about the composition process for the poem. When I read the article in the Tribune about Coyote, I was just broken hearted that, that it happened. And so what I did was to take the articles that I was seeing and I underlined those lines that really struck me, just struck me cold. So I tried to weave them into the poem and it didn't really work and I needed someone to tell me, that's not working Martha and that's what you did. <laughs> but I, I worked from those lines to the extent that I could and then when I, when the poem let me give them up, I gave them up. You know, I mean, I, I wonder for you, I mean, I mean, do you see yourself as a, as, as a, a as a character? <laughs> yeah. I was, I was just caught by something that I had never seen. I have, I've seen coyotes here in Chicago and having done that and then having had this happen, I, I was just caught by what was going on. I guess what struck me was the longer we live in, say here in Chicago, the more likely it is that the wildlife will be coming to live with us. Mm -hmm. And when I first came to Chicago, I never saw a, a raccoon. Now they're in my backyard along with a bunch of possums as well. So these are the kinds of things we're going to be faced. So what are we going to do? Are we going to simply, <coughs> excuse me, are we going to simply do bad by them or are we going to let them live their lives as best they can? And, and the answer to that is something that I struggle with every day in a sense. Now, isn't it ironic that today um, a coyote was caught yeah. going down what street was that? State was it State, State Street? State. Yeah. And they let him go. Yeah. Because he was saving a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. He was going after roads. Yeah. 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 So this is going to happen to us more and more and I, I that's fascinating to me.